welcome to this presentation on isometric drawings for plumbers. My name is Thomas and in this presentation I would like to convince you of the fact that if you know how to draw and to read isometric drawings, you're going to be a better plumber. Let's look at some of the reasons why you should learn this and then I'm going to give you opportunities to try it out and to practice this so that you can get good at it. In order to understand a three-dimensional drawing like an isometric drawing, we have to stick to a, a couple of rules. One of those rules is that all vertical lines are going to remain vertical, but the horizontal lines or your four directional lines, meaning north, south, east, and west, they're gonna come off of your typical 180 degree flat line at a 30 degree angle. Isometric paper like this makes it super easy because all these triangles are oriented to create those angles. But basically, horizontal pipes moving along one direction or another have to be 30 degrees off of that flat horizontal line. Once we accomplish this, we can start to create three-dimensional drawings. Look at this. This is a three-dimensional drawing done on isometric paper following those same rules with vertical lines being vertical and the other lines, directional lines, moving at 30 degrees. All right, so here's one thing about this presentation. We're gonna stop and go, meaning you're gonna stop and go. You're gonna stop this video and you're going to look at it and try and draw along the way. Now, if you don't, if you're just like, yeah, yeah, I get this, Tom. I can understand without drawing it. You're not gonna get good at it. You might be able to interpret but, but let me emphasize, the point here is for you to be able to do this. So, this is my invitation to you to stop the video at certain points along the way and take the time to draw this out. You'll get good at this. Try this one. Try to draw this three-dimensional set of cubes, whether you have isometric paper or not. If you don't, just kind of freehand that, but make sure you're keeping the correct orientation of angles Let's give it a try and see how you do. All right, here's another one. You may or may not decide to try this one. You could if you want, but let me just point out what isometric drawings can do for you. Let's imagine that you want someone to build this exact thing out of wood blocks. And it has to have these dimensions. You can see they're kind of penciled in around this blue shapey thing. Now, if you were to describe this on paper or in words and describe this exactly as you see it in your mind so that they can build it. What are the chances based on a verbal or a written description that they're going to be able to create this exact shape? Not very good, right? But when we draw this out, especially when it's scaled and you can scale these isometric drawings. So they're an exact representation of the dimensions that you're dealing with. This is something that could be created to exact form, right? And it's because of the way that you communicated it. So again, this is why isometrics are so incredibly powerful because you can express so much in a simple picture. All right, we're gonna take a few minutes here and examine the difference between plan view and isometric view of the exact same pipes, okay? So here we have a plan view. We're looking down from the top I want you to notice there's a two inch pipe that comes into this building and then there's a PRV station. This is right in the middle. This is the main line coming in. From there, it offsets and goes in to a hallway and above the hallway, we see those lines branching, going different directions. Along the way, we see some things branching off. This is a cold water line coming in. So there's a cold water that goes over to a sink on the right side. And then once it gets in the hall, we see it branching off or a service sink towards the bottom in the middle. And then there's a small restroom on the left side of the screen where there's a toilet and there's gonna be an, a lab, that's L2. So we see a cold water line branching off and going over there. And then this continues on to other places in the building. Now the other pipe that we can observe here is the hot water. This is the three quarter on the bottom right side. It comes in from that side, it's coming across through the hallway. This is B above the hallway. And then it's gonna come in and feed that sink on the right side of the screen, the service sink in the middle, and then it's gonna get some hot water to the lavatory in the restroom. Now you've had a moment to examine this plan 
Let's look at what this same thing looks like in isometric view. Boom, here it is. Two inch coming in across from the right hand side. You see it comes in. This gives us the view that this moves up. It comes up out of the ground to the PRV station, up from the PRV station, and then starts to offset. This gives me the indication that these lines will be above the ceiling. As it comes across, we have a two inch. We see the cold branch coming off to the sink on the lower right side. Then it goes into the hallway and goes two directions. From there, the cold line goes over, feeds the service sink, the lavatory, and the toilet. We can again observe the hot water line. This is the three quarter line coming from the bottom right side of the screen. It comes in, feeds that sink, continues on to the service sink and to the lavatory. This also gives us the view that when these lines come to the fixtures, they drop down out of the ceiling and come into the walls. This gives me a much better idea of what I need to do to build this. Let's look at this same area from a drainage perspective. We've got the same fixtures. There's the restroom on the right, a service sink. This time we've got a couple of floor drains to handle towards the top in the middle, and then a sink off to the right side. You can see the more solid lines are the drainage systems coming in. They come from the bottom of the screen there. Four inch coming in, four inch branching off to catch all of the drainage from the restroom reduces to three inch and goes to the service sink, then reduces to two inch and moves on. A two inch line comes across the screen and over to the sink. And then a two inch line continues on to catch the floor drains and then onto something else we can't see beyond the top of the screen there. Now, the more perforated lines are the vent lines. These are lines that are gonna just feed air to the drainage system. We can say they come off of the top of the fixtures some of them go into the walls, they connect and combine together in two inch pipes, and they come to this point where it says two inch VTR, that means vent through the roof. This gives me an idea of where all those are supposed to come together. Let's have a look at this isometrically. This time everything drains to that four inch on the bottom left side of the screen. So you can kind of see that. It branches off to the left and goes to the restroom, continues on going from the bottom left to the upper right, we see the branch for the service sink, another branch coming off to the sink, continuing on to catch the floor drains. The other thing we can see is how these drains come up into the walls or up to the floor drains. And from those points, we can see where the vents come up off the top of those drains and begin to connect together above the ceiling. Once again, this gives me that three-dimensional view and a much better idea of how these vents are supposed to run and tie together. At the very top, we can see the vent through the roof, and we can see that's clearly elevated well above all the rest of these lines as it passes through the roof. All right, hopefully that wasn't too overwhelming. Those drawings were taken directly from real plans for real buildings, and there was a lot going on in them. So those are typical drawings that you're going to see and interpret from a plan. But now it's your turn. So we're gonna bring this back down to something a little more simple. We'll go to a single bathroom group. This is my invitation to you, if you have not already, to get a paper and a pencil or whatever you wanna draw with and be ready to do this. I'm gonna show you a picture in plan view and you'll see kind of where the pipes are supposed to go. What I want you to do is create a three-dimensional isometric drawing illustrating how this would be piped. So be ready for that. Be ready to pause the video. Give yourself plenty of time to draw. And hopefully by this series of exercises, you can get a pretty good handle on how to draw isometrics. All right, have a close look at this. This is exercise number one. You can see the layout of this bathroom group. Towards the top of the screen, there is a lavatory. Then we have a toilet and a bathtub. The green lines you can see are the drainage lines coming in. There's a stack that starts in the exterior wall at the bottom. It comes up in the wall below the floor, turns in below the floor, and then heads towards the lavatory. On the way, it catches a branch for the tub, it catches the toilet, and then it catches the lavatory drain. A couple of other notes. This is the main floor. The ceiling is eight feet high. The roof is three feet above that. The basement floor is eight feet below the main floor and the building drain is one foot below the basement. 
With this information, you could even draw a scale drawing. I'd encourage you to try that. I'm going to give you time now. Go ahead, pause the video, draw what you can, and I'll show you how I did it. Here's my drawing, and I'll step you through how I drew this. But it's coming up from the drain in the floor, raises up past the basement floor, comes up to the main floor, then it goes horizontal, catches the tub, the toilet, the lavatory, turns vertical, and goes up through the ceiling and out the roof. So here's one example of how it is possibly drawn. I say that because you could draw this from a different angle. You could draw it from four different angles. But this is one I felt that represented well what we were looking at. Let's try another one. Here we have exercise two. Once again, we have a bathroom group and the stack starts down towards the bottom of the screen. Drains come up, they head towards the toilet. We have a branch that heads off to the shower first. Another line that branches off to the lavatory and then we head to the toilet. Take a minute now, pause the video, draw your isometrics then start the video again and you can compare with what I drew. All right, here's an example of exercise two. Let me point out that there is not a right or a wrong answer as to how to draw these unless you're not following the correct angles. But in this particular drawing, I was actually able to create some 45 degree angles, if you'll notice, heading towards the lavatory or towards the shower. And this is how we draw that. Take a minute to compare yours. See if you can interpret this drawing. Does it match the plan view that we were looking at before? Yeah, it should, it, it came from that. So there you go. Exercise three, let's shift gears a little bit and go from drainage, waste and vent to water lines. Here we have a plan view for a master bathroom. We have a cold water line coming in and a hot water line feeding the fixtures in that master bathroom. On the left side, we have a walk-in shower. Notice that there are two shower valves, two fixtures within that shower. So we've got a cold and a hot water line going to each of those. On the right side, we have two lavatories. So once again, a cold and a hot to each of those. Towards the bottom, we have a large soaker tub so hot and cold feeding that. And on the bottom left side, we have a toilet. Of course, that only would need a cold line typically. So we see the line running over to that. Now it's time to pause the video. Try this out. See if you can draw this isometrically, indicating lines coming through the floor and feeding these fixtures coming from below. Exercise three, here's the possible drawing that I created for this. You can see the water lines coming up from below, running through the floor, feeding the showers, the laves, coming to the tub and to the toilet. Now with this, you can see if I need to illustrate to someone else how to run the pipes, I could draw this out, hand them this plan, and especially with the color coded, that makes it even easier, right? But they could very easily see what needs to be done and how to run those pipes.